Hi guys, it's Alessio of Leading Trader. In this video, I want to share with you something incredibly interesting and powerful, which I think is going to really help you about making any decisions about Bitcoin. Take a look at this. On Google Trends, and again, this is a free software provided by Google, and it's called Google Trends. And on Google Trends, you can actually search, do a search for a specific key phrase. And I put here, buy Bitcoin. As you can see here so the reason I'm doing this because I want to see what level of interest there has been in this specific key phrase buy Bitcoin and I have selected past 12 months and again you can change this to whatever you like but I've selected the past year and take a look at this what Google Trends is telling you here is the amount of interest there has been in that specific phrase buy Bitcoin in the last 12 months now, this is very fascinating information, and I'm going to show you how we can use this to our advantage. It's saying to us that suddenly, in the spring of this year, there was suddenly a massive amount of interest in that specific key phrase. Notice that just before April, the amount of interest there was in that phrase, buy Bitcoin, certainly wasn't the amount that it was now. Uh, and again, there was a surge of interest just after April of this year, and that surge has gone up, gone down, gone up, gone down, as you can see here, and then suddenly it's gone up again. Now I want to show you something interesting here. Take a look at this first peak that you see here, the first time that this interest in that phrase by Bitcoin peaked, which was actually towards end of May, as you can see right there. Okay. Now take a look at what happened to Bitcoin prices right about that time. And what you will see is right there towards end of May, that was the peak right there in Bitcoin. And you can see it's not surprising why suddenly the interest in Bitcoin suddenly peaked about that time because Bitcoin prices suddenly started surging, surging higher. That just basically meant that folks were paying attention to the news, paying attention to what their friends on Facebook were saying, and suddenly everyone started typing in and searching for buy Bitcoin. And this is essentially a fantastic contrarian indicator. Look at this. So as Bitcoin peaked about here, what happened was it took so it took a little bit of selling and then one final push higher. By the way, in statistics, this is often called the last gasp stage. Just one final push higher before suddenly a major, much more serious correction that you see here in Bitcoin prices. So in other words, very soon after the huge amount of interest in that phrase buy Bitcoin, which occurred at the end of May, there was also a drop in the price of Bitcoin as well. Take a look at this one. Now, what about this peak that occurred here in August? Now, this was in the middle of August, as you can see here this year. And let's take a look at that. Let's go over here and take a look at this. Now, this is interesting. So let me just, uh, before I show you what happened next, it's interesting just paying attention. So this is where about that time when there was a peak in the Google Trends search interest for that phrase by Bitcoin. You can see that, that again, not surprising because prices surged higher. People became interested in Bitcoin again. Now notice, had a bit of a profit taking here, but then that last gasp stage took, took over, the final push. And take a look, you'll see again, quite a much more pronounced drop, which occurred in September before finally going up again. Now, something also I want to show you here is this, that after each time there was a drop in the price of Bitcoin, so one time in June, July, and then another in August, September, look what happened to the amount of interest on Google Trends. You see the same pattern, the same pattern. Notice that people just lost interest in Bitcoin. There wasn't that amount of interest in that phrase, buy Bitcoin, as you can see here and here, corresponding with what we saw in the drop in the price of Bitcoin. And that also tells you something very interesting. We can use this as a contrarian indicator. In other words, what I would like to see before buying Bitcoin is I want to see the interest in that phrase by Bitcoin drop. And I want to see a drop below this 50 level here. So if we think of this as a line across the 50 level, okay, I want to see that interest dropping below that. All right. And then we can look at potential buying opportunities on Bitcoin. All right. Now, just to let you know that just because this level right now is at 100 does not mean that suddenly it's reached its peak uh, or that we should be looking at shorting Bitcoin. No, absolutely not. First of all, we never want to stand in front of momentum. Uh, we don't want to stand in front of the freight train. But certainly when the level of interest here falls back again below 50, then yes, we can use it as a contrarian indicator to look for potential buying opportunities on Bitcoin. So as you can see, the level of interest 
in that phrase buy Bitcoin right now certainly is at an extreme high it does not mean Bitcoin prices can't go higher but it does mean we should be very cautious by the way I want to show you something else that's quite interesting here as well if I if I just change this from the last 12 months to the last five years you will see something also interesting and you'll see that there was a peak back in 2013 for this phrase buy Bitcoin right about there you see that that peak occurred uh, yes between the 24th of November to the end of November 2013 as you can see right there and then it started dropping right you notice that after the peak the interest in that phrase just dropped until finally it just dropped much lower you know nobody was paying attention to Bitcoin throughout this entire period now you will see that that's exactly what happened in 2013 you can see that in November of 2013 there was a sudden surge in the price of Bitcoin right about there and as Bitcoin went up uh, about a thousand percent as it surged from about a hundred dollars to one thousand dollars and then right about when it peaked there and then suddenly started dropping massively now I realize that some folks are watching this video right now they're thinking that well so what does it matter if anyone even bought at those peaks that I mentioned back for example back at the end of May and back in August well those folks would still have made money by now because Bitcoin prices would have gone up well let me just say two things about that firstly everybody is a genius in hindsight it's all very well looking in hindsight and saying yeah okay if you bought it at those peaks you still would have made money but there are actually two important things you need to pay attention to number one why pay for something when it's expensive when you can buy cheaper for example would you pay fifty thousand dollars for a Mercedes if you knew that if you could just wait a few more weeks you could buy the same Mercedes at a 25 percent or maybe a 50 percent discount well the answer is very simple you'd want to buy cheaper right because that gives you the greatest amount of return your rate of return would be much higher when you buy at the lows so near the lows than you would near the highs it's about risk return all right guys so that's why it's important to be contrarians and essentially doing the opposite of everybody else in fact as one of the best traders of our time Paul Tudor Jones once said he said I believe the very best money is made at the market turns to some extent to be a good trader you have to be a contrarian and I also recommend that you read this book called the psychology of trading by dr. Brett Steenbarger where he essentially mentions that we need to pay attention to our emotional temperature in other words our own emotions the way we think can be used as contrarian signals doing the opposite of what our emotions are telling us all right guys I hope this video has helped you in some way and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and also please remember to subscribe to our channel thank you very much bye for now